We are many. Those that live beyond the veil of darkness where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds and ends thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rot in the solace in the souls of the weak. We have taken refuge here among the mortals in hope of harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night, the realm of spirits rule the world. In the darkness of your mind hides your own hidden demons and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search? everybody how y'all doing happy sunday to you hope you guys have had a great weekend no i did kind of relaxing got a lot of shit done uh watched some football today decided hey, i don't want to watch the raiders game so yeah let's let's go ahead and do a show what's up david how you doing man how you been uh welcome back bud it's been a while uh friday night we did uh Two parts of the Goldfield investigation video. Tonight we're going to knock out the other two. Uh, so like I said, it's the uh, the other two stationary cameras we can probably do next weekend. We'll jump back into uh, Nevada State Prison audio tomorrow night. Uh, kind of get back onto that. I'm doing well, David. Been busy. Been real busy. Work and life and still trying to get my association to fix my house, but... You know what? It is what it is. So, uh, yeah. Got uh, part three of Goldfield Investigation loaded up. Uh, why is my camera not on? Well, not going to matter anyway. I usually don't have... There it is. I'll go ahead and usually turn my camera off for the investigation videos so we can uh, just watch it without... Seeing my actions kind of takes away from paying attention to the video. Let me go ahead and get the camera off. And, uh, yeah, let's get on over to Goldfield Part C or Part 3. Part three. And I'll, I'll jump back in every now and then. But I am here on mic. Uh, like I said, camera's off. I'll ask this again. How many baths were down here? Maybe the camera just overheated before it shut off. 
because that was extraordinarily unusual. So right there, we had a power failure on the camera. All right, guys, uh, we're still here in the basement. Uh, do you see the tile floors, the original tile floors in the hotel? They used to have the baths down here for the men. Uh, <laughs> this tile is amazing. I've showed you guys. I've had, I have pieces of it at home. I'm just trying here to... Is it that? Here, here we go. Something I want to show you guys. The original sign for the Goldfield Hotel. That's the original sign that hung out front of this hotel. Which we've seen, I've seen a couple times before. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> the GoPro shut down. I don't know why. But it did. Something we have to deal with. And it's just part of it. Uh, I think it overheated. I don't think it was anything spiritual yet. Were there tunnels leading to other gambling establishments down here? Anywhere in the basement? And I, I, let me, I want you to touch that device in front of me if I got this question correct. This one actually just popped into my head. The tunnels. Did you guys shuttle prostitutes back and forth to hide from the women upstairs? And I think I already know the answer to that. It's yes. What better way into a men only facility down here in the basement to shuttle prostitutes back and forth? To hide from the women upstairs waiting for you. All right, for right now, gentlemen, I'm going to leave you in peace. I'm going to turn off this device. And I'm going to go back upstairs for a little bit. Thank you for speaking with me because I know you did. I, I heard your responses. And there's my GoPro back there again. So I'm going to turn the recorder off. How you doing? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, guys. Brent, Carnet Paranormal again. This is still a Goldfield Hotel. We're going for we're going for round two. Had to get about a 20 minute break, so let's get back to it. 
and go back uh, We're giving her space. Okay. Yeah. So We're giving on? her space for a little while. What's going on? Um, the gentleman Al. Who oh, fun, car. fun. I guess Al and Anna owns the car in the garage. I guess we're in contact with him. There's somebody by the name of Al. With that car that's wrapped up in the garage. Downside with everybody congregating in the lobby, you can hear it throughout the hotel. So we got a visitor. Want to come up and jump up on my lap? Uh, the audio where the recorders were uh, there's a lot of distortion I can at least play the investigation video uh, that way you guys a lot of you haven't seen the Goldfield Hotel uh, you can at least see what, what I got to see there's some areas yeah it's quiet but you could still hear all the echoing in the background Okay. So I just like spent the last ten minutes staring out the window. Like, is he gonna do it? No, I have to. So ask, there's like twelve people in here right now. Yeah. Um, okay. There you go, right? Yeah. Do you mind if I do a pressure point on your hand so your head can go away? I don't like people touching me. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just asking. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Sure. Yeah. I always ask because I know. Yeah. Yes, you okay. can. Or you can Now the uh, <clears throat> the garage across the street is the original auto garage for for the town from like 1908, 1909 on up to the uh, on up to the 40s. All right, guys, uh, we're heading over to the location. Let me get the screen on that uh, we were talking about. Let me get downstairs. Uh, the location I promised you guys we were going to get into. I uh, haven't given permission to film. So, we're going to get a treat here. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Because, yeah, not many people get to go in here. Excuse the wind. special permission to come in here. I feel very honored to be in this building, one of the few in Goldfield we have not been into. So please uh, come forward. Got a recorder right there. Still so that's speaking. one recorder we can review. We're at two hours, 48 minutes. We're only about three hours into this uh, communication with you guys. A lot of the wood from the hotel. We got this beautiful 
old piece of machinery. If you are here with us, can you please come forward and give us a sign by knocking on something? Next time I need more light. That's for damn sure. So you guys be aware, the air in this building is not the greatest. It's actually very, very stale. Was that a hay? How does it make Yep, right there. Uh, spirits in that location from attachments to goldfield stuff or from the location itself. All of the above, David. Uh, spirits in goldfield travel. Uh, the car that you guys saw that was uh, Red Roberts, the owner of the hotel who passed away, uh, I think a couple years ago now. Uh, you got the spirits, like I said, going all the way back to the early 1900s. So, yes, uh, attachments in there. Uh, there's stuff in there from the hotel back from the early days. There's, it goes all over. So, yeah, it's. Not really an exact answer, but all of the above. And why is this not playing? How does it make you not the greatest? Okay, there we go. It's actually very, very stale. How does it make you feel that they are rebuilding the hotel across the street and kind of neglecting this one? see a little piece of history right here radiator from the hotel room is that another whisper we guys see a little piece of history right here radiator from the hotel room I do not like this air in here we do think don't tell me that because the battery is getting ready to die already. Yeah. It better not. You know, Edgar, if you are here with us, really do uh, Edgar, like it's this red, car. Not this Edgar. Is really classy. Edgar's red son. An old Ford. Do you mind if I take it out for a drive? What's that? 
This was, this car was in the hotel. And like this is one of the desks from the front desk from the hotel. Oh wow, what's that? It's down for a second. Oh, just names. Never mind. Nothing special. You notice I see something. I have to touch it. It's like, yep, this might be something. Not thinking I might get an attachment. You can see this. This is cool. Red, sir, you had class. You had a lot of class. Supplies, file cabinets. I must make you wonder. <laughs> yes, is there anything in there? What was in these things? Still got files in them. Not going to disrespect my looking. <laughs> but hey. I opened it. <laughs> I'm not going to go through them. That would be this tacky. Is terrible. It's terrible. Like I said, this uh, there is a device over here on this stack of wood that if you have any stories, please come speak to it. It will hear your voice. And we will be back later in this, this evening to, uh, to retrieve it. Three hours on it. say you can't investigate a bathroom we did it in uh last year's nevada state prison and got a get out <laughs> so yeah mm -hmm. Try all the doors too. Yeah, the air in here is back there is terrible. You are one EVP up there. I'm good. Okay, so do you want to do it? Um, I don't
guys, I'm going to the smoking room. Oh, Brian's like, oh, really? Hey, everybody, we're going to the smoking room. You come join us. We're there to investigate, not have a powwow. That that one actually kind of bothered me. Too bad you can't light that in here. Is that a battery issue? Was it? I don't know. Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Believe me, it drove it drives me mad. If there's over two people talking on a location, it, it pisses me off. It's like, guys, we're paying money to come in here and investigate. Why are we gonna sit there and gab? Just Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Exactly, David. So basically what you're seeing on the screen is exactly what I was seeing. Not much extra light. Here we are guys, back like I said, back by the smoking room. We still got the recorder going here. We are at three hours nine minutes. So this is a smoke room then? Uh, lounge for the men, yeah. Okay, so just the men. Make sure nobody, no women. My name is Brian, and um, got a bottle of whiskey here. It's free, whoever wants it, it's yours. First come, first serve, and a cigar as well too. You are more than welcome to have that. Bottle of whiskey that All size? I ask, if I was a spirit, I'd attack it. Communicate him. with us. And that bottle of whiskey and that cigar is all yours. All I ask is that you communicate with us. Touch that box right next to the bottle of whiskey and we will leave it here. Otherwise, we're taking it up to the fourth floor where the uh, gentleman was caught or shot for cheating at cards. We'll take it, take it up and offer it to him. There is one individual who, I know I don't know if he's still here or not, but I'd like to reach out to one individual who liked to smoke cigars. George Wingfield. Are you here? If you are here, I'd like for you to approach the whiskey and cigar and this device and light that device up like a Christmas tree. So we start using my lines. Too much interference in the background. Can you, yeah. wait, can you let them know to keep it down, please? And there goes, uh, there goes the box. Too much interference in the background. Can you, yeah. wait, can you let them know to keep it down, please? It's in the background. At least we got some evidence here. Too much interference in the background. Can you, yeah. wait, can you let them know to keep it down, please? So we had the box go off twice during this investigation. All right, if you're not gonna touch it, we're gonna go up to the fourth floor and offer it to him. Come on, George, I know you want the cigar. You need to smoke cigars. I mean, I know you ran in uh, the um, gambling business. 
wouldn't this be the place to have some, some whiskey, smoke a cigar, maybe a couple rounds of cards? Go down to the basement, go down to the spa, yeah. go down to the bathing area, yeah. and bring some prostitutes down. <laughs> you go get the prostitutes, I'll go get Elizabeth. Oh, ouch. Probably not the best way to provoke. We know you were married. Was that your side chick? I mean, I can always go get Deputy Marshal Virgil Earp. I'm sure he can help us out. Here are different times. Was it? Remember, was Virgil was only Marshal oh, for two months. Yeah, that's right. I apologize. You are right. Did you hear that? I heard him, no. I apologize, you are right. Did you hear that? I heard him, no. I heard, yeah. I apologize, we didn't get my time frame wrong. Could you That's repeat right. that, please? I mean, there were people walking by. Oh, were there? Yeah. Alright, let's go up before. All right, well, I guess you lost your chance at a uh, cigar and a bottle of whiskey. We're going up to four. Feel free to follow us there. We're going up to four. Feel free to follow us there. Let's go to the poor room first, since this is two. Wait, poor room was... I that one. Let's go to the poor room first, since this is two. Wait, poor room was... I fell. Energy was... 
I think was it. Yeah, right here. Last time we were in here, there was a huge slap on this window. Was it really? Was it this room? Yes. It was on the left window. Uh-huh. Because remember, and you said, wait, it's not done yet. Uh-huh. There was a loud slap on this window. And for good old sakes, I like to hear it again. Walk down memory lane. You know David, you scared both. four people when you did. Uh, something there. There's there's a whisper there. There's a voice lower than everybody else. So we're gonna have to actually bring this up into the uh, into Adobe to see if we can try and filter it out. So after we get done with the video uh, next weekend, we'll have to go over it. We'll have to bring it up, put it in Adobe, and click and just clean it. That. Us included. Myself, Brian, uh, Jason, and D. Jason and D. Yes. Which Jason is in Phoenix, and D is in somewhere. Jason moved to uh, Houston. Houston. Yeah. You know, one in Houston and one somewhere else. But we're back to try to communicate with you to see if we can get you to recreate that and do it for us again. Will you please, if you can smack on that glass again like you did, we will leave. And you can hear all the people downstairs. Oh, let's go up to four. They're talking too loud. Go ahead, guys. Just us walking by for the recorder. when you must trip, her. trip up the stairs on camera. Oops. All right. Uh, we promised we'd be back. Uh, I don't know how that turned on, but it did. My like Eddie, it turned itself on. Huh. So we're gonna set this here. Actually, you know, what? let's yeah, let's. Brian, you wanna set the whiskey and cigar right there? Yeah.
So we're going to have two GoPros on this. Maybe. David, it's possible. We promise you we'd, br we'd bring up whiskey and a cigar for you. Now that we have, it's time for you to live up to your end of the bargain. That box sitting next to the whiskey and cigar will light up uh, really bright like a Christmas tree if you touch it and thank us for the whiskey and the cigar. Could you do that for us, please? Thank you. Thank you. So the light is going off. Thank you. Now, as I said, I'm Brent. I'm here with Brian and Lewis. Could you please tell us your name, please? I'm also going to do this. What I just sat down, we'll hear your voice. So if you want to touch that, that first box and talk into the second one, we can we can have a nice conversation. Could you do us a huge favor and tell us the name of the gentleman that was shot in the doorway of this room? This room. Yeah, this room, but where exactly by the doorway? In the doorway. In the doorway. Pretty much when he opened the door. Now, here is the thing. Where exactly in the room? Unless you were there, you're not going to know exactly where in the room. Story has it, it was in the doorway. As soon as he opened the door, he was shot and probably stumbled back and fell back into the room and, and fell dead. Could he be pushed back into the room and shot further back in the room? Yes. Nobody, nobody knows. We weren't there. So when he asked that, it's like, unless you were there, <laughs> it, it's a story. On top, it's still a story until it can be a hundred percent confirmed through records. Yeah, I'm sure they. Uh, I'm sure they know, but trying to find it out is the fun part. Yeah, Daniel said the blood will sometimes appear on the floor. That would be fun to catch on camera. What was the disagreement over? History says cards, but since you were the one that was there, could you set the record straight? What was the argument over? Please. There's something there. It's a whisper. I don't know what that's saying. Sounds like it's saying careful. We're going to have to go back over this with Adobe. Now, that device you lit up for us already, I'm going to ask you a couple, couple questions. If it was over cards, could you light up that box, please? I'd like 
to uh, have you do me a favor if you can. And uh, not many people would ask this question, but I'm going to. Imagine me. I'm the gentleman walking in. The gentleman that supposedly got shot. If I'm walking in, can you shoot me? It's one thing. No, you the guy knocked on the door. Shot the guy in here. That's one thing you don't do is ask a spirit to attack you. That's just, that's a no bueno. I've asked that before and I've regretted it. Can you shoot me? If you want that uh, shared energy, be my guest. Supposedly. Oh, okay. Because the guy in here was the one who was cheating. Yeah, asking That's for trouble. What the story says. Okay, all right. But I don't know. I thought it was the guy that came and got shot. Okay, gotcha. Was the was the argument over a woman, a prostitute? Asking for it's big, big walking. trouble. Brian, you're going to be knocking. That better have been somebody outside. That better have been somebody that was a, outside. That was a dog. Yep, dog across the street. That better have been somebody outside. Because I hear a man talking. Yeah, there's nobody outside. Could you say that again for me, please? Dog barking in the background. But I heard a man's voice. Want me to redo it? No. Let's go back 20 seconds. Could you say that again for me, please? Dog barking in the background. Mm -hmm. But I heard a man's voice. Want me to redo it? No. Now I'm going to thank you for lighting up that box again. Now I'm going to ask you Now I'm going to thank you for lighting up that box again. Now I'm going to ask you one huge favor. Fuck. God. Uh, and I know it's going to take a lot of energy to do it. Can you move that cigar or that bottle of whiskey for me, please? If you can do either, we will leave you in peace for the night. This was that bottle of whiskey. Yeah, there's three people in the room, so the breath could have been anything. I'll even come but down close. Whiskey for me. Brian walking by. Okay, let's. Now I'm going to thank you for lighting up that box again. Now I'm going to ask you one huge favor. Fuck. God. Uh, and I know it's going to take a lot of energy to do it.
Can you move that cigar or that bottle of whiskey for me, please? If you can do either, we will leave you in peace for the night. Yeah, we definitely got to go over the audio on this one. I'll even come down closer and put a line on it for you. If you can roll that cigar, we will leave. Audio is going to be good. You better tell Brian that's a sin to knock over whiskey. No man knocks over whiskey, am I right? You better tell Brian that's a sin to knock over whiskey. No man knocks over whiskey, am I right? It wasn't nice, but it was funny. You can use that box to communicate. You can tap on it if you like what we say, or really light it up if you don't like what we say. And if we're right about that whiskey, roll the cigar. How long were you a guest at this hotel? Before, before the gentleman knocked on. How long were you a guest at this hotel? Before, before. How long were you a guest at this hotel? Before, before the gentleman knocked on this door, knocked on your door. How long have you been staying here? Yeah, we're going to have audio out of this for sure. There, Brian's going to make it easy on you. He's putting a match down with the cigar for you. Now you have a way to light the cigar. Can you move that match for us, please? Now we're getting bugs in here. No, last time I was in here, I brought a bigger bottle of whiskey than that. You know, you can see how cheap my friend is. You know, next time we come up here, I'll bring a big bottle. But you got to make it worth our while. You got to extend that olive branch of friendship. You got to ex. Thank you. I will bring a bitter, bigger bottle of whiskey for you next time. You have my word as a man. I will bring a bitter, bigger bottle of whiskey from that olive branch of friendship. You got ex. Thank you. I will bring a bitter, bigger bottle of whiskey for you next time. You have my word as a man. All right. Thank you very much. And I'll do the same. So now you're going to have two bottles of whiskey in here. Just to show you that ain't That's dangerous. Just to show you that ain't cheap. You're right, lighting that box up after I say that's dangerous, having four men and two bottles of whiskey, we could have a hell of a card game and it could last a day. Quite the time. We will bring the cards up here next time too. Oh, yeah. Would that make you happy to have a legit card game in this room? We will bring up a table, four chairs, 
the whiskey, cigars, and cards. Do we have a deal? Oh, come on. You, you lit it up when I said I'd bring a bigger bottle of whiskey. If I'm going to make the attempt to bring all these items up here for you. We're going all out. Please light that box up for me again. If you can answer that, we will leave the room and leave you be for tonight. You want to leave that in here for a little bit? Um, yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right. It's not the match he's got. But we'll leave the cigar and whiskey. We're going to leave the cigar and whiskey here for you. That light over in the corner will see you. So if you move the whiskey or the cigar, we will catch it. We will talk to you in a little bit. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Play cards. We'll, actually play we'll, cards. we'll bring a lantern. We'll bring a lantern up. And actually play some I've cards. got a I've got a battery powered lantern. Dude, that was so cool. So you guys see what happens when you uh, use trigger objects? You get responses. You guys saw the responses on the meter. Next time we're going to have to bring, well, a camera up there and record us playing cards to see if we can trigger more of a response. So stay tuned for part two on that one. Love you guys. Uh, do you guys hear this bullshit Brian's spewing? I have a good relationship with my viewers. No, I have a good relationship with my family. Use a flashlight. Makes it a little bit more creepy. Mm -hmm. Creepy-ish. We're down on three. Uh, I think we need to go down to the. What do you guys want to do? What are you feeling? Honestly, I'll be honest. Where did I supposedly see the hellhounds? That was down from portal. Okay. So we need to go down one more floor. Down here. Oh yeah, this GoPro's heating up. Right, let's go to hell. Let's go down even one more. shut off on me. No, this isn't portal. No. You guys smell that? I do. I don't know why. My right arm is tightening up. Oh, they're still up this 
spirit and box like so arm is like tightened up. Is this this is two?
safe, but That's definitely an EVP. I don't want to be here is what that sounds like. It's something. What it is, I don't know. on the screen but not on the playback that's weird here we go up on uh we're back to like round five going back upstairs gonna go check the gunfight room check uh second floor and the pair of legs we just saw coming down the stairwell Yeah, David, that's what I'm thinking. And you can hear the warbling in the back. Somebody's got the spirit box going. Okay. Hi, chicken legs. Where are you at? six or seven before it dies. It's pretty good. Two more flights. Say that foot light's probably dead now. problems with the whiskey or the cigar go ahead and light that box up we're only gonna be here a couple of minutes I ain't got no thumbs I can't well open it get it out of the way I'm 
surprise that's still recording. What's the uh, the uh, time frame for those? Usually through battle light, battery light. But this is almost already died. Uh, almost dead, should I say? That's an eight. This is a ten. So I don't. So we need some extra light. That's pretty cool. This thing is amazing, dude. I love them. Okay. I think so. It's more light going down this tunnel. Kind of gives you a go we'll, we'll check out the screen, kind of tunnel vision. Find out. It's more like going down this tunnel. Kind of gives you a go we'll, we'll check out the screen. Kind of tunnel vision. That's pretty cool. Did you just catch that? Something just ran in front. I probably did. Go we'll, we'll check out the screen. Kind of tunnel vision. That's pretty cool. Did you just catch that? That was the light coming up from the end of the hallway. I probably did. Is that you? Did you just run across the hall? Are you in here? Come on out and play. Mm -hmm. like I said we are up from Las Vegas to see you guys. You might want to make our stay worth, you know, worth our while. I mean, we were here a few years ago, and it was definitely well worth the uh, the trip. Can we? Uh, we're hoping to make the same trip worth it again. Some reason this four feels like the most active. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna at least lead us around this fourth floor, at least make a noise for us to listen to. And we'll try to come find you. Knock on something, stomp on something, fire off your guns. Just Brian's shadow on the wall. minutes, two bars, one bar left. is a maze. 
much noise as you possibly can. And it's pretty much the same concept as Brett was explaining. But instead of that, we actually want to see you. I want to see you dip through the halls. There's not a whole lot of doors here for you to open and close, but can you make it sound like, you know, we don't see any doors. You probably still do. Can you slam the doors? Better yet, like I said, fire off your six shooter. Sheriff's not in town. You're not getting in trouble. Nope. We're not going to call the law on you. Nope. Now, if you're filling up work, kick the can. Knock that trash can over. It's all right. You, you won't get in trouble. Trust Don't me. Don't worry. Don't knock the trash can over. Knock Brian over. <laughs> You're up for it? Hey. Again, guy, you see. Original elevator. How cool is that? And I showed it to you earlier in the night. Are there any guests that need some room service? Any of the children that uh, run up and down the halls, you won't get in trouble. Feel free. Go down to three. Go down to three. I'm not feeling anything up here at all. And it's still on. Mm -hmm. If that meter goes off, that camera's going to catch it. So. Oh, yeah. And that's been going up f over four hours, and it's still recording. Mm -hmm. So you can see how much people are talking. And that's why I said the recorders probably won't be the best thing in the world. Just too much, you know, too much yapping. No, you're hearing that. still here with us? So got full bars on you. Elizabeth, if you're still here with us, could you uh, please give me a sign? I came in here by myself to hopefully speak to you. If you don't, that's alright, I understand. 
I know the man in the other room is angry with you. I know it's not George. Could you tell me his name, please? So much yapping, you need the music box. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys the other rooms that I didn't get a chance to earlier. Why do you keep bothering Danielle? She's doing her best to bring this place back to its glory days. And you're uh, making it hard on her. Why? She loves this hotel and the history behind it. But you've made it difficult on her. She doesn't want to come up to this area. Why? Put your big boy panties on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm barely standing and I'm doing it. No, I heard it coming from down here. No, you're a dick. Which way? Left, right? I heard it coming from down here. Where are we going? Sorry. That was funny as shit. I didn't throw it at you, I threw it down the hallway. You were in the room. That was good. Go ahead and look and 
super alive. <laughs> You'd be like Marvin from Home Alone. <laughs> well, I know you didn't pull on that just now. No. I, mean, I have my hand on this line, but somebody just. Dude, I'm all the way over here. No, I know. He's, yeah, nobody pulled on it. No, I. Wow, the I batteries are dead on this. I was tightening this side, but then somebody pulled this side. No, I didn't. Four of them to see where we're at. Antique fridge, dude. It's been here since the hotel opened. <laughs> Antique fridge, dude. It's been here since the hotel opened. Nana. Antique fridge, dude. It's been here since the hotel opened. for this. Right. Yeah. I've got ninety two percent left on this GoPro. Like this is quick see right real quick. Try right here. Volt is dead. So whatever's left in but I still have two more full GoPro batteries. Right. So I think I brought enough batteries for the GoPros to last mm -hmm. at least a day. Egyptian, what's that say? Kayak. Egyptian kayak. Sure. Okay, now I'm intrigued.
Sim. 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 Come out and play. Everybody else is gone. It's just us. Remember us? Come running down the hall. Please. Fire your six shooters off. Guns will call the marshal. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be starting some trouble. That's down in the basement. <laughs> I should take a picture of a brick with a string on it and send it to him. Be like, does this look familiar? Oh, <laughs> courtesy of the Goldfield Hotel. Talk about pulling strings. To junction, to junction box. Are they supposed to be dicks or what? I don't think they're ever going to get this hotel reopened. Even if they only get the first two floors reopened, that'd be cool. But all four floors, that's going to be a tall freaking order. I'm not feeling anything at all. Nope. I think we're a dead cell right now. Going up on water or going down? Down. Yeah, let's go down. Right. It's, it's, it's. I spent too much time on Fortnite. Well guys, that's probably pretty much all the energy tonight for the hotel. We've been in here since 8. And it's, it's like 2. And uh, yeah. So from Goldfield Hotel, I wish you a fond farewell.
this last step. That wouldn't have been that Bro, bad. I would have ate shit. Elizabeth, thank you for speaking with me tonight. Uh, get ready to leave, so I'm going to leave you in peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I'm going to the last bar. Thank you, Elizabeth. guys that pretty much that pretty much does it for the four clips of uh goldfield hotel you guys heard how much yapping was going on through all four sections and that's that's the one downside is when you have that many people in an old building voices just freaking carry it's a little disheartening but we got to investigate it for, so figure 8 to 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Uh, about 2.30, 3 o'clock, we ended up finishing. So six, seven hours in that hotel is a lot, especially when you're walking as much as we did. We heard some uh, evidence on these couple clips. So next weekend, we're going to jump into this uh, in Adobe so we can break down the audio. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to jump back into Nevada State Prison. Uh, knock out that recorder and continue going on. We have a lot of video and a lot of audio. So, anyways, with that being said, guys, I truly thank you for being here tonight. Uh, Corgi, David, anybody else that's uh, lurking in the shadows. Anyways, guys, I'll uh, be on about 6.30 uh, tomorrow night, Pacific Standard Time. Until then... Have a great night. God bless, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks again.